It's been a while since we talked to our next guest, one of my favorites in the history of this program, the one and only Mike Platinum Perry is back April 27th, and there he is, my man Mike. How are you, Mike? <laughs> What's up, Ariel? What's up, all the viewers watching, Ariel? I'm, you lose viewers since you got on ESPN with Tails on it, or you get about the same amount? Oh, no way. I'm way more famous now. <laughs> what do you think? You oh, thought, way more famous. You thought I lost viewers? because I did. Who loses viewers when they go to ESPN? Right. I don't know. I don't know if it goes backwards sometimes out here in this world. You take a step forward, you move two steps back. Right. Sometimes it'd be like that. Do you feel like I've gone soft? Like I went corporate? I sold out? <laughs> I ain't heard from you in so long, bro. You don't hit me up. Oh, well, well you know, I was letting you be. Well, let's get into it because I, I, I heard that you, you found love. I heard that, you know, you're, you're a changed man now. So I was just <laughs> letting you do your thing. Is that true? Nah. Shit, I'm the man I've always been, bro. I just figured out what I was. Wait a second. What's going on with your hand over there? I see a ring over there. What's happening? Oh, yeah, I'm married, bro. What's <laughs> up? When did you get married? Uh, I mean, some of, the, some of the viewers on my Instagram might know about that, but uh, just recently. Well, mazel tov. Oh, assalamu alaikum, bro. <laughs> Like, <laughs> for those that don't follow you, could you tell us <laughs> when you when did you get married? And was th this was of course to the platinum princess herself, right? Yeah, man, March thirtieth. Um, wow. No, we, we we ain't signed the papers yet. We okay. gotta sign the papers. Okay, but you did have a but, ceremony. Yeah, we're done. We married. That's wow. it. <laughs> and, all, all you hoes need to back off. Okay. All no, right. I ain't got no hoes, but I already got rid of them. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and was this a spur of the moment thing, or were you planning it for a while? Nah, bro. I've known about it since I met Danielle. No, but to get married on this particular date, like, did you just wake up uh, and do it, or did you guys have a whole thing, a whole ceremony? Nah, we plan? had a we had a party. We had a lot of people there. It oh. was good. It was a good time, man. That's weird, cause I didn't get like I didn't get to save the date. I didn't get an invitation. I didn't get an email, a text. Uh, well it wasn't like that, bro. We were keeping it low key, man. Oh, okay. Cause you know, a lot of people like to talk a lot of shit and we don't really fuck with a lot of people. So I feel you. you know, we kept it low key with fam and that was how it is. Was it fun? Yeah, bro. It's every day is fun. Every day is a great life. That's why I did it. How did we go? Cause Anyways, oh, let's talk about some fighting well, shit. I, I let's just, talk about fighting. Can I I've just, been training. Um, I feel better than I've ever felt my entire life. I feel great. Uh, you know, ain't nothing going to stop me, bro. And I got one coming April 27th for y'all who didn't know. I think if they watch and they know, though. Yes, yes. Cowboy Oliveira. That's a fun one. In Florida, your backyard. Yeah, let's go, man. Redemption. Okay, why do you feel so good? What's changed? Bro, I don't really understand it, but it's like, it's like, I've always known how to fight. And then I overclouded my judgment thinking about shit too much. Hmm. And now I think about all the same things, but I just fight way better. I don't know. I just, I'm relaxed. I think about every point and I ain't giving none away. Ain't no points being given away. So, and I can't be stopped. I can't be hurt. So when I stand there and wait for them to try to hurt me, it doesn't work out. And then they leave themselves susceptible to getting hurt by me. So let's go. And, and did, did you have to teach yourself how to start feeling this way, how to, how to change your mindset, or did it just happen gradually? No, I think, I've, I, think I fixed uh, shit in my life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then everything came together. When I worked on Mike Perry, uh, the platinum martial arts really got loose. Okay. And and where are you training for this fight? Uh, Fusion XL, where uh, my old my old team, my shit, my my day ones, my A one day ones. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jacare Souza's over there. He's training with us. Uh, we're training with him. It's it's all a big. Big happy family over here in Central Florida. Everybody knows what's up with us. And, um, you know what I'm saying, we're going to go down there to South Florida and show them what's up. And, you know, they got some good good people down there. Dean Thomas got some schools down there. And and uh, uh, Mospidal's down there. He's good. Yeah. Fuck Kobe Covington. He a bitch. Whoa. 
Oh, fuck that guy. He yeah. a bitch. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay. So, Cowboy Oliveira, Brazilian opponent. Uh, shout out to Brazilian martial arts, but I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. Well, this one, your your replacement, um, his original opponent pulled out. You came in. Like, what what were the plans for you? I, I was starting to wonder. You hadn't fought since November. Did you want to take some time off? Then they call you for this fight that you're taking essentially on a month's notice? I mean, I didn't know I was going to get back to it soon, but uh, I was just working on my body, man. You know, that arm bar fucked up a lot of, like, a lot of shit mentally and in my body and, and just things wasn't going the way that I had pictured them to go. And now, you know, it's, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, I just, it's like I woke up a totally different man one day. Wow. How long ago? Uh, shit. Oh no, we lost the answer right there. We'll fight through this here. Mike, let me know if you can hear me. Might have to reconnect with uh, Mr. Mike Payne. That was so much fun. I was having a blast there talking to him. Uh, as you saw on the, the graphic right over there, he does return to action on April 27th against Cowboy Oliveira. That's the card in Sunrise, Florida, headlined by Jack Hermanson versus Jacare Souza. Last time we saw Mike Perry was back in November at that 25-year, uh, 25th anniversary card UFC had in Denver. He fought Donald Cerrone. There was all kinds of drama heading into that fight. In the end, he got submitted via armbar. And now it seems like he is back in Central Florida and off the market, married. Because you'll recall right after that fight, we spoke to him about getting back together with his longtime girlfriend who he trains with and who's in his corner often, very close to. And then they broke up. But then he told us last time he was on, after the Shroni fight, that they were getting back together. But I did not know, my bad, that they actually got married. How fun is that? Beautiful when love materializes, especially for a fighter. I think it helps them, you know, get on the, the straight and narrow. There he is, Mike. Ariel, I apologize. Poor network connection. Like, I ain't got no money over here. <laughs> I had to call my people real quick and get the internet working faster. All good. You know, now it looks great. Whatever you did looks phenomenal. Um, I didn't I, do anything. <laughs> I was going to ask, I was going to, because you said, like, all of a sudden you woke up and, and things started to change. And I, and, and I think I asked you that, but then we lost, we didn't get your answer. We lost the connection. Oh, shit, I guess I said March 30th, but... Oh, uh, wow, that wasn't that 31st, long ago. 31st, whichever. No, I mean, it wasn't. And then I started training. It's like when I signed that contract, bro, I get to work. I have coaches that be like, man, try to try to stay consistent before you sign a contract. But I just have so many other things that be going on that I'll be working with and, and trying to handle in my life and shit. And also resting and recovering. That shit is real, bro. I'm yeah. 27 years old, and I felt like I was 45 sometimes. It's hard to move around. but And then, I don't know. I've, I've been working out consistent with the making it to the gym two, three times a day. And it, it's filled my appetite up. So, like, I've been eating like a, a beast. And now I'm going to have to get on this weight cut. Now that I'm working out more, I'm feeding myself more. And now I'm going to have to cut down on the food. So that's when those injuries really come at you where your body is weak, but you still have to work. So I'm going to switch it up and go do some swimming, swimming, running, and make way for this fight. And I'm going to smash this guy, bro, and get on to the next couple and then go get that title, bro. Nah, I love this. Welcome back. When's the last time you felt this good? Or have you never felt this good, Mike? Never felt this good, bro. Wow. It's amazing. All you needed was to get the Platinum Princess back in your life. Yeah, that's what it was, right? <laughs> <laughs> I see you guys training together. Like, you, Are you legit sparring together in the ring? What's going on there? Uh, No. Um, no, we do work together. I give her workouts. She usually doesn't want to work out with me because I end up going too hard with her <laughs> and shit. Okay. But like... She's a beast, man. She really is. Uh, but she's not allowed to fight and shit on her family and me, and I'm not allowed to let her. I'll do all the fighting and get the money from it, and then we're going to 
We're going to do other things. She do paperwork and real estate and marketing and whatever y'all want to do. Hit up Danielle. She got the right ideas for you. Oh, is the, she would actually want to be a fighter if she could? Nah. Okay. That. You don't want that, right? We ain't even going to talk, talk about that, bro. Okay. My bad. It, she won't, she want to fight anybody. She going to have to fight me first. Okay. <laughs> you don't want her to fight, I would imagine. <laughs> no, no, bro. Will she be in your corner she, for this fight? Yeah. That's good. She, she earns magic. her spot. She's irreplaceable. Yes. Um, and so what? Mag- I, I do be Magic Mike. She like to call me Magic Mike. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that movie based in Central Florida? or it's? In- I don't know. I never saw that movie, oh, bro. Man. You saw that movie? A phenomenal movie. <laughs> I mean, the bodies on those guys, tremendous. All right. You should go uh, check it out. Kevin they Nash. better than ours, man. Man, he's like a 45 year old wrestler and he's got an incredible body. Anyway, uh, maybe even older, 50 year old. Um, so, what happened at, uh, at, at, at Jackson's? Why just one camp? No, to me, it was one camp. It was two camps. It was two camps. I was ready to come back home after the first camp. Really, I mean, it. Not take nothing away from them. It was a great experience, and they got a lot of knowledge over there, but it's it's a different life over there in New Mexico, too. It's it's I'm in Orlando, and they in New Mexico. You know what I'm saying? You can do the math on that. It's different, and it's beautiful over there, the clouds and shit, but, it, like, the sky is crazy because you're so high up, 5,000 feet in yeah. town, but... I mean, I went over there and I learned that I didn't, I never needed to go anywhere to get the things that I needed, the knowledge that I was looking for, what I was, you know what I'm saying, what I thought I might have been missing, it was nothing, you know what I'm saying, so you got to pay attention to those that are around you, and and you got to return the love that they've always given you, you got to give it back to them. Is it nice? The to- rest of the world don't fucking deserve it. They're a bunch of assholes that jump on Twitter warriors or whatever they call themselves, keyboard bitches. I know. I don't even read comments no more, fucking haters. That's it? You're done? It's all good, though. What you mean I'm done? I'm done. I post pictures, I get likes. That's it. That's yeah, all yeah. I look at. No, I mean done reading the comments. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, you. I mean, it's just toxic, right? I mean, it, it kind of messes with your mind. I don't let nothing fuck with my head no more. Good man. Um, is it nice going into this fight? Like, there's no real drama between you and Cowboy, right? Like, the last fight, you and Cerrone, a lot of drama. This one, no drama. It's nice, right? Yeah. I feel like I can choose, you know, like, I feel like there's nothing telling me to tell myself that I don't want to win. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you don't want to win for this reason or this reason. No, nah, I'm like, fuck that. I'm about to win this shit. And it's like, I feel like I won already. I feel better than ever. I feel like I can tell the future and I'm I'm about to whoop this motherfucker's ass. You're supremely shit. confident. Supreme. I like it. Are you typically this confident before fights or do you feel like everything that's going on in your life is making you even more confident? I mean... I be I be ready to go, bro. That's who I am, man. I'm and, ah excited, but then there, there was times when I was just tired of training and shit. I was just like ah, so you know now I'm feeling a little better. It feels good to get up and move and do things, and and I'm gonna be excited to fight. I think we're gonna have an action packed fight. Uh, I got an opponent who seemed you know you can never tell if these guys are gonna throw down or not. You get a different guy every time you enter the ring at this level, but. But, you know, we should fight. And and the way that I see it is like, it ain't going to matter. I'm going to take my time in there and, and just every single point. Bro, I ain't giving nothing away. By the way, did you go to Paris recently? Nah, nah, that was last year. Oh. Yeah, we went to Paris last year. We we did some little bit of moving around. but And, and then I tried to go to Jackson's and focus on training over there for something. Uh, but I had it right here, bro. I got it right here. Yep. I'm good. I also wanted to ask, um, because I know the tattoos are a big part of your life. I saw that you posted about going to like a tattoo laser removal place. What are you taking away? What, what, what are we doing? What's going uh, on? 
Uh, it was just uh, a little piece of one tattoo, um, and I was doing like some some sponsorship for them. Oh, okay. So they was doing a little tattoo, and I was I was just doing some marketing for them, and uh, you know, it's no big deal at all. Uh, it's crazy. One day, oh my bad. It, it's crazy. Sometimes there was like a, a little bit of time where I was looking at my tattoos, like damn. Maybe I would get the bitches all lasered off. Like, wow. that shit hurt, but it's like, I felt like maybe I could have been a model or been in movies easier if I didn't have certain tattoos on my body. But then the next day I wake up and look at my shit and I'm like, man, my shit go hard, bro. I don't, this yeah. shit fit me. It's good for me. I don't care about nothing else. So, you know, whatever's good for me and the people that care about me, that's good enough. Yes. I was just worried that you were going to get rid of the one here, the platinum one. That one's legendary. <laughs> no, not yet. Maybe <laughs> that'll fade on its own. Yeah, it does. It. I was just going to ask about that. That's why I was asking. Is it fading? <laughs> no, it's not. But I mean, maybe a little bit. All tattoos really do. Yeah. They say you can get in that uh, bare knuckle boxing ring with tattoos on your face and you don't have a fucking tattoo when you leave that That's bitch right. if you go in there fighting like Artem and Jason <laughs> Knight. Did you like that? Did you watch it? I mean, I woke up and was like, what happened? What happened? What's <laughs> going on? And then I went and watched I watched the whole fight with the skill, though. Like, Artem and Jason Knight are very skilled fighters, but they just kind of like threw that shit out the window. And they were like, ah, let's go for it. Ah, nah, man. Floyd Mayweather in this bitch. I'm not trying to get touched by you. You stink. Get off of me, and I'm going to crush your face when I touch you. Yes. That's my game. That's what I'm playing. Um, and last thing for you, Mike. Uh, is, this, is this the last fight of your contract? Yeah, man. We playing some. We, I don't know. I mean, it is. But, like. People be talking, somebody be saying something, stuff don't come through, but it's all good. Like, I'm willing to put it all on the line and then have, hopefully, uh, free pickings. Yeah. But obviously, I want to stay in the UFC, bro, and so I'm looking to win this fight to stay in the UFC, but also to hope that, uh, you know, Everybody tell the UFC they should pay me half a million dollars. <laughs> I agree. Uh, let's do it. Yeah, Ariel agrees. Ah. But the, the, so the stakes are high. The, like you're essentially betting on yourself in this one. Yeah. I like I mean, it. I, I prefer it to be that way. Let's go. Put the stakes on. Uh, uh, and and actually, I would sign right now with uh, certain deals. Or whatever, but um, I mean, it's whatever they want to do, bro. And I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do either way. That's the way I feel now, mentally. I'm just like I'm gonna go and win a fight. That's it. It don't matter who, when, where, or why. I'm gonna get this money. I'm gonna win this fight. And I'm gonna get on to the next one. I'm gonna do that too. Do it again. Do it again. It's time to get this hot streak, man. I, I should. I should have. Yeah, I talked to my stepmom and my pops recently, and my stepmom, she's so funny. She's like, I don't know why you lost any of them. Mm -hmm. I, I, she be watching the fights. I don't know what's taking them so long. He just, just knocked that guy out. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> I got you, ma. I got you. We're going to do it. Let's do it. I love it. Everybody, it's time to it's do what I came for. Do what I came to do, man. April 27th. Sunrise, Florida. Ah. The return ah. of Mike Platinum Perry. He's back. Look Platinum at him. Platinum Mike motherfucking Perry. It's Platinum Mike motherfucking Perry. I don't care where you put the Platinum. I really don't. Just put the Platinum in that bit. Platinum. Platinum time. Mike Perry. Off the market. Ah. Stay away. He's taken. He's spoken for. And on April 27th, he's coming to win and secure the bag. <laughs> Ah, let's go! <laughs> Mike, much love. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck.